Thank you for that wonderful introduction, Pastor, and but we actually have to run to the store first and get some supplies as I was cooking dinner that night. Going on to the walk though, of course I enjoyed it, especially when I kept making Lord of the Ring jokes as there was just six of us walking across the hills um, in a straight line, so I felt like I had to, you know? I remember when I was looking out over the view, I just had this inner calling to just start running, like down the hill, across the river, through the woods. I've always felt that whenever I've looked over views as a child, and I don't know, it's kind of weird, but yeah, that view in particular just sparked that. On our travels as well, we spotted some very cute wildlife. I'm a little frog. Big slug. Fucking hurry up, come on. Yeah, so the boys are <laughs> Yeah, so the boys are not as entertained with the wildlife as I was, so um we headed home. To be fair to them though, they had already gone on a big hill walk and also they went to get back to watch TikToks. So you know, like that, that's fair, that's fair. Back home, dinner was being prepared, of course, for me and my sous chefs. For some subtext as well, um, for this trip, each night someone else would cook a meal and it would be to a certain theme. So I was going for a more like tropical Hawaiian theme, which is why you can see me put pineapple chunks and ham on a margarita pizza. The boys on the way up had a shopping list of stuff they would buy before they arrived at the house. And I did put on it a Hawaiian pizza and coconuts. Coconuts were the drink I was gonna make. But um, they told me the store didn't have any, so I just ha kinda had to improvise on the spot. So I was really glad I found the pineapple chunks and ham at the local store. Out of all six of us though, I was the only one who actually wanted pineapple on my pizza, so uh, the tropical theme kinda turned into a make your own pizza kinda night, but it, it was still fine and there was lots of sides as well. And to make up for the coconut smoothie that I was gonna make, I just bought some regular innocent smoothies from the store. One of my sous chefs for one of the side just made the dirtiest, filthiest fries you've ever seen. In the tastiest way possible, it was disgusting, but in a good way, you know. After dinner, it was a normal routine, just a game of Scabby Queen, which is the name of the card game we played every night. And to stay on tropical theme, the two losers had to eat a lemon and a lime, so... Yeah, not as bad as the jalapenos, I don't think, but, um, you know, a punishment's a punishment. I weirdly found sleeping on a mattress in the middle of the living room really comfortable for some reason. I mean, I got really good sleep every single night, and I feel like on an actual bedroom, I might have actually slept worse. I know this ending may seem a bit abrupt, but um, there was a lot of stuff that happened that I just couldn't film, um, especially at night. <laughs> and also the boys had already been there a couple days, so I was really there only for the tail end of the holiday. And our last day was quite packed with a lot of tidying up and making sure everything was locked. But I'll still play you some of the b-roll I took uh, driving home. As you can see in the car, I'm also sitting in the back because I forgot to call a shotgun. But to be honest, I was pretty fine with it as it meant I didn't have to give directions. And that's us just over the Queensferry crossing, so now you're gonna see me awkwardly wave to the camera, goodbye. <laughs>